So we all have to become storytellers. It is the cornerstone of live video. Well, I don't consider myself a storyteller. Yes, you are. You tell stories every day, and you all have a story to tell. So to make this easy for you, there's actually a few different kinds of stories. You have your educational and informative stories. This is information I want to give you out of what I know. Who knows something? Raise your hand. You don't know anything? Some days I feel like that. It's okay. From what we know, sharing knowledge, whatever your business is, I guarantee you have much that you know and much that you can share. Stories can be inspirational or motivational. You can do it! Whatever inspiration or motivation looks for you, we need it. Life is hard. We have those challenging seasons and we all need people who can encourage us. Storytelling could just be in the form of something that's entertaining and fun. You might be a musician, play guitar, play piano, vocalist, juggler, magician, who tell jokes, whatever it is that you do, you could just be entertaining. You might not have any of those talents like me and you might just be a goofball, a 12 year old, a 52 year old body that just likes to have fun. And for whatever reason, people watch me do that and I think I know why. It's because when you're having fun, other people want to hang out with you. Have fun. And if all else fails, experiential is great for live video. What's experiential? Real simple. It's where you are, who you're with, and what you're doing. Does that sound like rocket science to anybody? Because I don't want to, you know, make sure I'm keeping it simple for myself where you are, who you're with, or what you're doing. If you don't think that people will connect with you when you go to a restaurant and show them your cool plate of food, you're missing the point of why people tweet what they just had for dinner. And the point is this, and I learned it after I had written the first book, Twitter Power, back in 2009. I was still learning. One day, I put out a tweet. I took a picture of a couple donuts. I, I got a little gut. I like sweets. Who else likes sweets? Oh, heck yeah. I took a picture of donuts and I posted, who likes donuts? Or what's your favorite kind of donut? Make mine chocolate. That dumb donut tweet got more likes, replies, retweets than any brilliance I have purportedly put out there over the previous months. Donuts! And that's when I realized the importance of the mundane, because it is the mundane that creates points of connection. Who doesn't like donuts? Even if you're gluten-free, you probably love a gluten-free donut. Even if you're diabetic, you probably like a sugar-free donut. But there's connection, we identify. So whatever it is that you can show people about your business, in fact, here, as we close up, here's a few ideas for you. Take people behind the scenes, right fast, because I'm gonna go fast. Take people behind the scenes of your business. Show them how the donuts are made. Take questions from customers when you're live. Ask me anything. What do you want to know about? Somebody asked me before, what would you tell a dentist to do? Oh my gosh, they could do all this stuff, but people have all kinds of questions about their teeth. I got a question right now. Do I really have to go to the dentist? And yeah, apparently I do. Share news and updates about your particular business or about your industry. Motivate, inspire people. That may be your business. Give opinions. Just stay off the politics, please. It's making me crazy. Who else just wants to turn off Facebook completely right now? Oh, my brain, it hurts. Provide tips, tricks, secrets. You could do presentations on live video. You can introduce people to the team. Most of all, you can be spontaneous. If you are in a moment where you think that there's something interesting and you want to share it with your audience, it doesn't have to be about the business. They are there to connect with you as a human being. Be real.